Welcome to Maggie Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a regular pentagonal prism of height 60 mm and also base edge 30 mm resting on one of its base on the HP and the vertical face which is closer to the VP is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. We need to draw the development of the truncated prism when its truncated surface makes an inclination of 60 degrees with respect to the axis and is bisecting it. So if we look at the problem statement, we can understand that the type of the prism that is mentioned here is a pentagonal prism and the resting condition is it is resting in such a way that one of its rectangular faces closer to the VP is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So we have done the construction here. So we have first drawn the XY line of thickness 0.18 mm and then we have taken a projection line of thickness 0.13 mm on which we have placed the pentagonal prism with each of its edges measuring 30 mm and also one of the edge that is A1, E1 that is the rectangular face A1, E1, AE being closer to the VP and is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to it. And also we have drawn the projection lines from each of the corners and then completed the front view representing the axis of length 60 mm. And then we have constructed the cutting plane here in such a way that the truncated portion that means the lower portion of the prism is making an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the axis. So first let us consider the bisection of the axis as mentioned in the problem statement. So draw a line of length. 30 mm from the base or from the top and from that point as the reference draw a line which is making an angle of inclination of 60 degrees with respect to the axis. So this completes the cutting plane condition. So now we shall mark the lower half of the prism below the cutting plane. So we need to consider all these edges. So first we'll mark the outer edges and then the edge lines and the corresponding rectangular faces. So we will not consider the axis line. So now let us annotate the points. So we will tell that the cutting plane is interacting on A1 dash A dash at point 1 dash in the front view and that point will be point 1 in the top view. Similarly next we have got the point on B1 dash B which is 2 dash and that point is 2 in the top view. Next we have got the edge C1 dash and C dash and the interaction is at the point 3 dash and that point is marked as 3 in the top view. Also we have got the next edge that is D1 dash and D dash and the point is 4 dash and the point is 4 in the top view. Next we have got the final edge that is A1 dash and A dash and the point of interaction is 5 dash and this point is 5 on the corner E1 and E dash. So this also can be annotated as O and O dash which is the center of the top and the bottom faces respectively. O and O1. So now we will construct the top view of the prism. So since all the points are there on the corners just highlight the entire prism. So this is the top view of the truncated portion of the prism. So now we need to show the development of this truncated portion for which we are going to consider constructing the cut section of the pentagonal prism in the initial condition. So for that select a line of thickness 0.13 with xy line as the reference line. Let us draw the baseline which is equal to 30 into 5 because there are 5 rectangular faces and divide this line into 5 equal parts. So the height will be equal to the axis length that is equal to 60 and each rectangular face shall measure 30 mm. So draw 5 rectangles of 30 cross 60 in such a way that it is dividing the line into 5 equal parts. So let us annotate the cut section of the prism first. So this is 
a1 and this is a so we can use the capital letters because they are the actual dimension of the prism and next this is c1 and this is c here it is b1 and b this is e1 and e followed by a1 and a so these are the five edge lines so since all the lines uh, that is the points 1 2 3 4 5 on the respective rectangular edges we can represent them by drawing the horizontal projection line so one is on a1 and a1 here and next point 2 is on b1 b so this is the point 2 next we have got the point 3 on c1 c next 4 is on d1 d and then we have got the point 5 on e and e so use the annotation and mark the points for the reference so this is one one here and next the point 2 on b1 b point 3 on c1 c point 4 on d1 d and next point 5 on e1 e so next consider the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and then mark the points so we have got the point 1 here so we'll start it from this point so the point of intersection or the end point then 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 1 again and then join the base of the prism and then mark all the edge lines So using the annotation, let us write the development inside the developed part of the prism. So this is the development of the prism when it is cut by a cutting plane in such a way that it is bisecting the axis and the truncated portion is making an angle of 60 degrees to the axis. So this is the development. So with this, we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement. Thank you all for watching.